Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Sacramento River Cats and the Salt Lake Bees. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in and we are set for baseball here this evening. Into the windup ready with the payoff pitch and he lays off ball four and the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Set to get his evening at the plate started Joe McCarthy batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. He's going, he's going. The 1 1 home. A pitch out. The throw on a great time to pitch out as he'll be thrown out easily at second. The 2 and 1 on its way. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The second baseman. In now, Yomer Sanchez. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. 1-1. One, one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging in at the plate will be Chris Shaw. Ready on one and two. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. In now, Jalen Davis. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Hey, I love that pitch right there. Better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Settling in now, Eric Salcedo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one -one home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Popped him up. Sanchez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Cam Williams batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Hamilton is after it. He makes the running play. Two down. Now batting, Joe Adele looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Adele. Short hit hard. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The second base so now to the plate, number 74. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball, one and two. And that's high for a ball, it's two and two. Adele leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. He stays alive, still two and two. Don't want to forget about him. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Digging in, Zach Green, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 2-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Sliced hard on the ground. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. 
Into the box now, Zach Houchins. He certainly had it working for him at the plate this season. The average is up over 350 entering play. It's still early in the season, but I'm not surprised to see this guy off to such a hot start, known as one of the better hitters in all the minor leagues. At the plate, Abiatel Avellino. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. The 1 1 home. One ball, two strikes. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the gloves down the line. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Batting up. The catcher, Tyler Heineman. Stepping in now, Taylor Heineman. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Just hung in there on that one. I love the fact that the hitter was able to foul that pitch away. I always thought with two strikes, you give the pitcher that inside part of the plate and you do your best to cover away. Count even at two and two. From the stretch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Gareth Morgan. He'll get to take his first cuts here. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kick himself that he didn't swing at that one. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Redhead. The 1-1. One, one. one out, nobody on. Slice down the left side, but foul. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That is better. Digging in, Joey Curletta, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And it's fouled away. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out this side in order. to the top of the order now and in the hit next the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton into the windup here's the two and one pitch line down the left field line but this will be foul into the windup here comes the two two pitch swing and a looper to left Salcedo ranging into the outfield and he tracks it down nice play for the first down Sliding into the box, Joe McCarthy. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. The 2 1. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. 2 and 2. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Number 74 takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. Now, digging in for his second, second at-bat, Yomer Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. That's lifted the other way out to left. Marsh is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. of the third now so digging in now Jose Rojas he's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest down the third baseline but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two and he tries to get him to reach for it but it stays outside three and two 
You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bump him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Sanchez dives. What a stop. How about that? So coming to the plate, Mario Sanger. And he's definitely Mario. off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1 one -one home. One thing that can nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. This one's down to third. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. The batter number seven. Into the box, Eric Salcedo. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup or do you stay with the heater? Payoff pitch one more time. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now batter. At the plate, Cam Williams. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 3-1. Takes this the other way to right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Sanger isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. Now the relay home is in time and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Standing in now, Chris Shaw. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Jalen Davis is on deck. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is pulled into right, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now back, right fielder. To the plate now, Jalen Davis. Davis. Oh, and he turns on this fastball and sends it out to deep left field. And I would say he got just about all of that one as this ball is gone, a home run. Into the box now, Zach Green. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up, throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the now inning. The third base. So striding in, yeah. Zach Houchins Houchins. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Amiatel Avellino. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually, when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And this will get all the way out to the Ivy. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now back, Pepe, Tyler Heineman. At the plate now, Taylor Heineman. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him late. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now in the box, Joe Adele. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Hit softly on the ground to third. And that's out number one. Stepping up now, number 74. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty. One man out. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Turned on down the line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Standing in, Gareth Morgan. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts but no one likes to go down looking expect him to be a little more aggressive at the dish to say big a shot down the first baseline and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball he'll get it into second and now he'll get into scoring position with two away now that left fielder Brandon so now to the plate Brandon Marsh this is pulled into right. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. So the lineup flips over and digging in Billy Hamilton as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. Loves hitting left handed off of right handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right handed pitching. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out. One away. Now batting. Striding in, Joe McCarthy. Joe. 0 for 1 with a run McCarthy. scored thus far. Hit to short. He's got it. And there are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And moving into the batter's box next will be Yomer Sanchez. Now the 2 1 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. So stepping in, Joey Curletta looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Riding in once again, Jose Rojas. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. At the plate, Mario Sanger. He singled his last time up. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Count remains two and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So striding forward now, Eric Salcedo. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Two balls and two strikes now. Driven nicely into the gap. 
But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And they'll get a little closer here as the run comes across to score from first. It's now a 4-1 game. Now battle. The right field. At the plate, Cam Williams. Williams. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Parker Markell takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 58, Parker Markell. Stepping in now, Chris Shaw. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. To two and two now. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Here now the two two. Softly on a line to third. And this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third now for the first down. Right fielder. Ready for another chance. Jalen Davis. And he's coming off a two run homer his last time around. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Fastball too high. Ball four. That green. Into right field, that's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, the third baseman, Zach Houchins. To the plate now, Zach Houchins. Find that fastball is too much for him there, one and two. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And he fouls this one off. A one two pitch swing and a miss on the fastball that time out number two stepping into the box Abiatel Avellino two hits and two trips for him thus far heading out towards shallow right Williams will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move and that ends the inning Melvin Adone enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. So Joe Adele bats now. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. And it's one and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. And in a two run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on deck circle as long as you can. And there's out number one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number 74. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 2-2. is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Stepping in, Gareth Morgan. 1 for 2 with a double on the ledger so far. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Popped him up. Houchins is there. And that ends the inning. You're Mike Mayers please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 60. Mike. Seventh oh, inning yeah. ready to roll. Digging in now. Taylor Heineman. He went down on strikes last time up. 
Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now back, the center fielder, Billy Hamilton. Into the box, Billy Hamilton. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And this will be a base hit into center. So the first two are aboard here to kick off the seventh. The batter, the designated hitter, Joe McCarthy. In now, Joe McCarthy. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. I love the approach out on the mound. Everything's down in the zone as it should be, but now you find yourself in a three-one count. Do you elevate a little bit more and get back in this zone, or do you just pitch around it? Three-two pitch. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with now still nobody out. Yomer. Tight spot. Bases loaded, nobody out. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. Salcedo is under it. Chris Shaw, the Come next back. to take a turn at the plate. So far, two for three in this one. The one and two pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run is in to score from third. It's five to two. Now batter. Coming to the Blake plate Fielder. now, Jalen Davis. Jaylen. It was a walk Jaylen. in his last trip. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Mine to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Dylan Peters trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a the tough back. spot with two the on and two team. away. Back. Green. So now to the plate. Zach Green. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. From the stretch. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around, and the inning is over. Into the box now, Brandon Marsh. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And there's the first out. Ready for another no, shot now. Joey Carletta. 0 for 2 for him Joey. to this point. Carletta. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Three and one. Ground ball right side. Throw gets him. Two down. 
Digging in. Now Jose back. Rojas. The third base lead. Okay. Two out, nobody on. Rojas. Up high, two and one now. Fouled off. He's set and the two two pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Now Ready back. now, Mario Sanger, man at first Mario. after the two out walk. Sanger. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, this offense is going to have to change their mindset. If they're going to get swing and misses on that slider, you know he's going to go to that well. They are going to have to be willing to take the ball the other way and stay back on that heater, or they are not going to recognize that pitch. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Ready once again, Zach Houchins. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Call didn't go his way on 2 and 1, but it's important here on 3 and 1 to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Fly ball to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move, and this will bang up against the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. The batter, number 45. Standing in now, Abiatel Abelino. Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Looped out toward third. And there's one away. Digging in and looking for more, Taylor Heineman. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Line drive to center field. Adele is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Billy Hamilton digging in now. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. See, guys, he is human. Occasionally an ugly swing right there. But he's having a monster season, so I'm going to give him a free pass. Loop down towards short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Trevor Gott is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58. Digging in the switch hitter, Eric Salcedo. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the one and one pitch. Gott utilizes a good curveball as a part of his arsenal, but it's not just your run of the mill breaking ball. It's unique in that he's able to throw it with great velocity, power curve, if you will. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now to the plate, Cam Williams. He's two for three and looking for more here. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now at the plate, Joe Adele. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Fouled away.
Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batting. The second baseman. Into the box now. Number 74. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Neil Ramirez enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Joe McCarthy. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The 1 2. Misses, ball two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Stepping in, Yomer Sanchez. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's 1 and 2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. This one's down to third. He's right there. Throw in time at first for route number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chris Shaw. So far, two for three in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Striding in to start the ninth, Gareth Morgan, and they'll need him to get something going here. Line drive to center field. Hamilton is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. One away. Now at the plate, Brandon Marsh. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. One out, nobody on. This one's flared toward left center. Avellino ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in once now again, back. Joey Curletta. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Nick Vincent takes over on the mound now as he'll try to get the final out of the ball game here and pick up a save. Nick Vincent. Stepping in now, Jose Rojas. Popped him up. Houchins waits on it, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The River Cats jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Tyler Anderson takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.
they left seven men on base. For the Bees, three runs on eight hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.